Hey guys, it's Harad from Huntington Company and today we're going to be taking a look at the Omega Seamaster 300 and what makes this watch so special. So let's get into it. Alright, so first the specs on this beautiful Omega Seamaster 300. The reference is 165.024. And the most important part about this watch is the dial, nicknamed the Big Triangle because of the 12 o'clock. That makes this pretty rare and collectible. This specific example was produced in 1966 and features the also rare bracelet reference 1171. The case itself is a large 42 millimeters with a thickness of 13 millimeters and a lug to lug of 47. Showing a modern size case standard, that's what makes these watches pretty special, knowing that they were released in the 1960s, but still having such a large case. The movement housed inside is the caliber reference 55-2 automatic movement, and the twisted lug case is an early iteration with the HF stamped inside, showing that the case maker was Eugene Ferez. This specific reference was produced from 1963 to 1970, so it was not produced for a very long time, which makes these examples pretty rare. The twisted lug case is stunning, the tritium loom is beautiful, and the Bakelite bezel adds to the charm. But with that being said, let's take a closer look at the Seamaster line and why this watch is so important. The Seamaster line itself is probably one of the best known watches out there, similar to the Rolex Datejust. With its history going back all the way to 1950s and its importance in both the James Bond franchise and the British Royal Navy, you can understand why the Seamaster line is just so popular. This specific example was not for the British Royal Navy, but the specific reference number was a military issued Omega Seamaster, and those examples can go for tens of thousands of dollars. So yes, these watches are pretty expensive. A no-date big triangle model like this could be had for between ten dollars and $13,000, but that is a fraction of the cost for an actual military government issued example, so you can understand why the price is where it is. These watches are beautiful, and compared to a Submariner from the same era, the case is larger and it's just more special because of those twisted lugs and the Bakelite bezel, similar to a 50 Fathoms. This watch is a little bit of everything, with the 3, 6, and 9 just like the popular Rolexes, the Bakelite bezel just like the 50 Fathoms and a twisted case showing the Omega characteristics that Omega is known for. This watch is beautiful. The bracelet reminds me of a Speedmaster. The dial reminds me of a vintage military watch. This really has it all. And at the same time with a robust movement and a 42 millimeter case, this becomes the perfect vintage watch to daily. This example is stunning and it's available in the vintage watch shop right now. So go take a look at it because it really deserves to be on somebody's wrist and maybe that wrist is yours. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. I know this was a beautiful watch and if you have any interest in it, please feel free to reach out or go take a look at the vintage watch shop over at HuntingtonCompany.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.